welcome. Uh, we're gonna be starting the Pentaconi story quest. Woo! I'm very excited. Excited to see what's going on. I'm seeing. I'm avoiding spoilers like crazy right now at the moment. I heard it was nuts. It's gonna take me a while because I like to talk and they like to talk. So this is gonna be a journey. This is gonna be a long journey. It's gonna be a multiple week journey. And you know what? That's okay. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to Pentagon. Woo! Everyone Come buckle in. the next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. Oh, mother and father and siblings are here. Uh, Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Pom Pom needs to make an entrance. See? Look at this. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up. So I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Yeah, what was so important? We're staying at a hotel. Woo! Okay. You. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Penaconi. Oh, Penaconi. I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel. But before we set oh, wow. off, I, I should thought remind it was Penaconi. everyone of three things. First, My bad. Penaconi I didn't realize I was saying it wrong. Asana, a star system brimming with Memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the Memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different. So if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptom, you should take them seriously. It sounds like the like the Second, disclaimer Penaconi at the end of like those medicine ads. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where it's like, if you experience death, vomiting, nausea, bleeding out of your eyes, let me know. And you're like, oh. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the So Rome list. exists in this universe? Rome? Uh, anyway, third and final. Are they just breaking Rather the... Rather <laughs> being a request, Tom <gasps> has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. They did reference it in the live stream. Okay, so I guess Earth is real in this universe. Damn, so where's my train that'll take me, you know, anywhere I want to go in the universe? Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Penaconi is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. We're going to During jail, y'all. During okay. the Astral Express once visited Penaconi. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Penaconi their permanent home. Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penaconi's ownership switched hands several times. Hmm. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure. Wouldn't you agree? What are you saying, Mom? left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the Oof. passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina. Like the Express's work. guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. This'll be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the nameless's diversity... Perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left. Diversity, Genshin. In the meantime, 
might be a good don't idea do this again we can't the compare the two games it won't oh, end well announcement before we jump before we, where are we going there's still some time before the jump i should talk to everyone Welt! 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 how's it going all packed and ready there probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory which is a bit of a shame if you ask me but hey it's rare that we can take a break and let loose let's enjoy it there probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory wow so this is going to be a peaceful nice adventure to panacani can't wait to have fun and not encounter any conflicts at all a vacation of course what else could possibly be happening there surely nothing and Welt is never wrong. You look relaxed. <laughs> well, adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equal. And you deserve it, Welt. I can't wait for all of us to have a very well, relaxing rest and trip. recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us. Let's go, Mom. Mom. You're the picture of calm as always. That's you me, guys. Like so calm always. Like a kid on a sugar rush. I trust Penagoni won't let you all down. It better not. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Uh oh. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Oh, you might want to tell us now. I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if we're gonna have time to discuss it later. I really love the music for Star. Like I love it. I love that there's words and it's singing and it's. So ah! I just love it. I love it so much. I spoke to Mr. Yang. <gasps> Thank I'll you so much for the, the roses, expressed. Star. I appreciate that. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. He's staying again? Again? You know, let me not pester him. I respect your decision. Thank you. Rest well. It's reassuring to know we're on a similar wavelength. God knows he might have to just Jay come off the ship and come save us again, so who knows? Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Yes, sir. Um, I'd advise double checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Hmm. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check in. Oh, this is so exciting! I haven't done this in a while. Let's go, girls. Hi! Hello! Attention, all passengers! Attention! All right, hold on. Hold on to something. I'll hold on to Koya. You guys hold on. To... I got him. Don't worry, guys. He's okay. What the hell? We have to play chess? I'm pissed. I'm kidding. Oh, wait, what? Are these those hallucinations I was supposed to be weary of? If Penacani is America, I'm concerned because we don't got healthcare there. So what are we going to do now? <sighs> Not another one. Hello? Come with me. I mean, listen, when my girl tell me to do something, I shut up and listen. So let's go, guys. Come on. Vamos. We're, we're leaving. We're leaving now. Oh. These questions have no meaning but i will answer you as best as i can this is the border between reality and the memory zone a dreamscape okay right this moment you and i have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape this is rosaria each other's minds i know mind for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn it is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. Hey, Chloe, what's up? How are you? So, Coco come Pups, with me. How are you? I'll take you home. <gasps> yes, ma'am. We're going home, y'all. <laughs> Left. Mother. The end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. That painting's kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, what? This is so cool! Galaxy Ranger Acheron. 
This is what they call me. Acheron? I thought it was a Charon. I heard like a mumble. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? Huh? How is this what? Even possible? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Why this not? is the nausea they were talking about. She can hear the thoughts in my head. Help. Help. Why huh. not? Oh my god. This is so cool. We're almost there. Can you still walk? Barely. Her ambulator of walls is crazy. You're funny. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or oh. up, for that matter. Don't look up. Don't look at it. Guys, do not look at anything. Oh, she did. Okay, good. These voices. They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. It's Sunday. Oh, I can the listen Charmony to them? The Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Me singing the Ole Ole O Lord yesterday. <laughs> oh wait, I have her. Who's the little one? She's adorable. Memo keeper. Do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice. I've already chosen. Oh, shit. My bad. I forgot. Wait, where? Wait, where is she? Oh, I didn't even see them. Sorry. I just saw the... I don't know how to feel about him. I like him a lot, but then sometimes I'm like, hmm. He's a neck tattoo. What? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge... I just don't like ratio, bro. Dear Gamble. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. I'm choosing to spread kindness, so I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> We're here. Welcome to ah, the oh. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Bro, Please didn't even let me open the, the door before he welcome. As you would on Yelled at me. Oh my god. This fortuitous encounter and return once you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, when my girl tells me to do something, I shut up and listen. What do you want, girl? I got you. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? <laughs> Fuck if I know. You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. That's awful. May that I sounds terrible. More Hi, Tam. How are you? I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. I'm doing Star Rail today. I got a whole new planet to explore. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Oh, okay. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? I would say yes. Oh, I... Oops. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape... So lifelike, it's indistinguishable from reality. 
There. Oh hi, no welcome. Life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? I wouldn't want to live in a dream. It'd be sad. Have y'all ever had dreams so real you wake up and you're like, oh my no. god. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Is she basically asking me like, if you're gonna destroy everything, do it? Would you do it? I wouldn't want my friends. I'd be sad. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? I'm just gonna tell her I remember her from somewhere. Who knows? I remember you, girl. You've been you've been on my mind a while now. No, I understand. You've been in my dreams. No, I'm kidding. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you alike yet distinct gave entirely different that's what i'm saying she responses. doesn't have her memory so i'm not that trying was to my final you know. question thank you what if they were best we friends before she lost her memory and i'm like i don't know you know that would be sad so i'm gonna say i think i remember well i'm pulling you're coming home no matter what girl but the golden dream is getting restless in the coming nights of long i'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. What? And finally, your sight will only see black and white. Okay. <laughs> but please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Um. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Oh, wow. Ouchie. Damn. Hey, ooh. I do like how you can see outside. Hmm. <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? You're up. Well, okay. and Himeko beat us to the punch. But I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Hmm. Shall we go meet up with them now? Yes, ma'am. Panacone, the planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park away. You know, I was actually just in Disney, speaking of. So I was already in Panacone. No offense, y'all. I've already been here. I was I was early. Oh, we're here at last. Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Let me thank you for the follow. Welcome. It feels like to be a User, hello, how are you? I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Bam! 
Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. This is dope. And those endless rows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? Come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I like how his pupils are locked. That's really cool. It's like a, cool, a very cool detail. Hey, kid. Uh, you better not scare me again. That wasn't that was a very nice little one. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here. Something's not right. Uh-oh. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Don't tell me what to do. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go, girls. Come on. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? We've just arrived and there's already drama? Look at this little girl. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> the little thing out of her. That is so cute. Also, if she marches on it, she should walk around like she owns the place. You tell him. You tell him. Look at her. Not a care in the world. She has appointments. A businesswoman. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. I'm sorry, but your name oh really isn't in the system. What? But some family we have from the astral express it states that we already reserved rooms please check again for me yes ma'am please give me a moment damn the you got astral millions express, of rooms four platinum guest rooms whose names include mr welt yang miss himiko miss march 7th and mr don hung these are the only four names on the reservation list <laughs> Don Hong. That's me, y'all. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. Oh, I'll sleep in the tub in March's room. She's it's fine. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Let me in! Let me in! Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Pentagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite... All guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Thronged, well, he said. Hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express. Oh, I love her dress. Cute. Please do not make it harder for her. Then you fix it. Damn, aren't you manager or something? Someone give me the damn room right now. We're sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to I'm about to commit identity for, I'm about to go I get Don Hung. For your name? I am the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Dunwood. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. These things mean nothing to me, sir. Hmm. I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite Quite a while. What does that mean? Leave it to me. It. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacony's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure, such as yourself, wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? 
Oh, she ate that. I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? Okay. I don't like his tone. He's talking to me a type of way, and I'm not, I'm not appreciating it right now. He's pissing me off. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is? 10 minutes? He's on my, I, 10 minutes. I could spend 10 extra minutes on the toilet and bros talk about 10 minutes. You don't have a phone? Go on TikTok for 10 minutes. Pissing me off. He's pissing me off. It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We deep hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? I don't like he's like he's pissing me off. I don't now like him. This is a topic very much worth getting into. Yeah, I play Genji more as well as Zushi. If a watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penicone before getting to know each other? Exactly, more quiet, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. Okay. <sighs> but, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like I hope he nameless. is the boss just so he can catch these hands because he's pissing on me off. Penicone trip. I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put I don't like his attitude. So about the vouching. There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. Sunday! I won't cause you any trouble. I want to see you um, on a Sunday. Ali, just a moment. Ah! The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. It's Sunday. The most handsome Why did their ears have mullets? Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Penicone. How interesting. Oh my god, look at the dots under her eyes. She's literally Darcy. It is a fun game though, Kira. I definitely do you waiting, recommend you Mr. check it out. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Yeah, but they're like a take me to your leader type alien. A cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh my goodness. Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Robin's playable too as well. I feel like she's going to die. A member of the family on Pentecost. If I like don't him. say nothing, I I just I don't know. I feel like she's going to like blow up or something. I'm a guest like everyone. Penaconi is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time I don't know. To return Not like right now. The Festival. Later. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penicone. Oh, he I thought he was her brother. Of this era's Termini Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. She goes, hey, you want to check out a trick? Alas, want to see my performance? Then just combusts. A later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. <gasps> Yay! Please wait a moment for the hotel to we get a suite, arrange for suitable accommodation. Wait, I thought this place was booked and busy. You could, but we have Mr. extra Aventurine rooms? Mr. has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, 
I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Well, tell that thing of yours Thank to you back off. Because if, if you want me to behave, I, that thing we talked to me like that one more time, I'm going to lose it on him. I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. What the hell? She's got... Okay. Bye, ma'am. Hey, Allie. Allie? Oop. Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. Yay. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. Oh my it god! Your hotel room key. As well as a direct I love it. It's like when you go to Disney, you get like the characters for the keys. It even provides smart assistance. All right, let's move out. Ooh, I wouldn't want to be in a room by myself, though. I would want to share it with March. I'd be sad to have a room by myself. If my friends are staying in the same hotel. What? Oh, my God. Number one, maintain a calm mind. Uh oh. Plays into the dream lying on your back. Uh, I can't sleep on my back. I am a side slash stomach sleeper, so we're kind of screwed here, but that's fine. Keep going. Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. I'll be, I got number three, guys. We're one, uh, you know, one of three. We're doing, okay. Impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. Uh, the only person I'm not gonna promise that I'm not gonna attack is adventuring, but aside from that, you got my, you got my word. I want him as hidden as possible. There we go. Yay! Gumming's best artifact set? I think the hunter set? M the, the French hunter set, whatever you, however you say it. Marais say hunter. Wow, is that really how you say is it that easy? Okay, French. Marais Chausse? Do you have to like emphasize it? Marais Chausse? I'm French! Oh my god! <laughs> head to our rooms first and put down our bags wait james okay don't say anything just for it for me but my predictions right well, now is that aventurine's first. sister soul glad is, is gonna blow up famous those are my only predictions for game go on we may be thinking of the same thing do you remember the invite at the oh sundays season? sorry i'm tired <laughs> the, the Ellie, thank you thank you for the fall i appreciate that are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate robin my bad i kept calling her one and calling her celebration yeah robin that's why we're here in the first place you recall correctly but there was more to this invite Oh. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus. So Watchmaker is like Walt. Question, Walt Disney. Does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes. I was just gonna say dissonance, guys. I was just gonna, my brain. I was really about to be like, why the dissonance? That's not good foreshadowing. I was gonna say also, that with my brain, like that. But I thought it. I didn't say it, but just know I was thinking it. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution Apparently itself, Pain Slasher is the, the best for him. Or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. Oh Pom Pom? I know that's right. 
It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. Oh, I don't think I'd be very good at decoding right. messages. I'm when not really the, the best at puzzles, sadly. Up, that family I wish I was. mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? Wait. It's so they didn't... Possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with it's a each trap. passing second. That's what I'm getting. It's a trap. We're about to get jumped in the Why dream world. We tell the others. We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Hey. Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. Not me, though? <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. Time to get involved. <laughs> Who sent the invite? What is the purpose That's of so real. gathering all of the factions and BK. And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Sorry. Sorry. It was just a cup. A just in my cup. Resort of the cosmos. A little coffee, lad. Many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Oh, sorry, Marge. Hmm? Get He's... this! If this man doesn't leave my quarters this instant. How fortuitous! How fortuitous! We meet again. Is this your room? <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. Aw, did you get downgraded? A lucky mm. block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Is it? That's Treasure bad luck. Are you serious? Friend. That's not good at all. Well, it doesn't matter. Dude, wait, why the hell? Leave. Get. Oh, Go on, sure get. I like that tone. I, I've been saying the same damn thing. You know what? A I have true beef with this man. I'm so serious. How many across yeah, womp womp. Get out. Bye. Hi, Mo. How are you? Just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie. <laughs> I think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. The way you said reverie. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to <laughs> sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? You can't help being gay. Gay is not a choice. But being annoying is. But being annoying is a choice. Oh my god. Yeah, go talk to go talk to my parents. Get me out of here. Leave me alone. Wrong. You're the one I see. He pronounces the G in wrong. He goes wrong. See, I just I just don't like him. 
Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. Mm, no, I don't do favors for you. Sorry. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. <laughs> you possess a distinct quality. So magnetic that it could sway the outcome of No, anything. I think he's going to kidnap me. I don't that like him. power. You really don't wish to use it. Or you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Miss Stellaron, have I hit the nail on that? My hand? No. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm warning you, you need to... You know what? Get. Don't make me call Mickey. Don't make me call Clocky. You're warning me? <laughs> oh, you're too funny. That piss... <sighs> I don't like that. He's laughed in my face. Oh, that's so rude. He kind of ate me up, though. You don't have to answer. Spades, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. That's a threat against my say. He said, of "I course, will you look for you again." Stalker. As well. or Stalker. Go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. I'm not your friend. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. You know, I'm using him, I'm using him to mop the floor. I hope he's evil. If, even if he saves my life and entirely makes the story and holds oh, yes. plot ties, before I go, I don't care. Let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. Left. It's in your left hand. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. clenched fists left or right get ready i'm about to reveal the no i didn't get your answer oh, but that's fine because friend the game Shit. has already begun allow me to make you an offer one you can't refuse who's in the right hand <laughs> no reason to choose otherwise and no other choice. Hello. Excuse me. <gasps> what are you doing <gasps> in the <that> room? <gasps> We're sure. sharing a room? <laughs> <laughs> well played. Friend. Hi, Karma. You haven't been in Panacone long. Thank you for the follow. We are. You I don't even know what port we're on. The beginning. We're in the very beginning. Your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Like yourself! Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. That's the best thing he's done. Leave. <sighs> I remember Why you. Why haven't you left? What do you mean? I just got here. This is my room. This is my room. <laughs> what? Is this? Have I come to the wrong room? Oh, this can't be. Before I said anything, I even made sure that oh, I- Oh no, we're there. gonna have to share a room and maybe a bed. And we may have to cuddle each other to keep each other warm in the night. That's really a shame. And, but such things happen sometimes and like these mistakes happen. I think it's just the best that we keep a positive mindset. And 
you know, it's okay. Sometimes it's fine. Do I have the wrong wing or even the wrong lock? <laughs> what is I'm it though? The the one bed fanfic trope. <laughs> the hallways all look the same. It's easy to get lost in here. Oh, I love her. I'm obsessed with her. She's so cool. Anyway, as long as you're all right, I should return to my room too. No! But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. Have we met before? But I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? I hate that up. I actually voice acted that, by the way. Perhaps in a dream. Yes. It was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. You blink of a thought in my head. This so she's been name, dreaming of me. Place to Damn! Up. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. Oh. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Mine is. <laughs> Galaxy Mine Ranger is. Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Good scare baddie. Hello. How are you? Web has going real. I'm about to write it, y'all. Let me just get on my get on my computer. Type away. Open my Google Docs. Who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death. And they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Bye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Yeah, I like Forget how she it. walked up in here it's and said, get the fuck out of my room. At least I can so I've been trying to do, and he listened to her at least, damn. Hmm? Mm. Oh, girl. Hey. <laughs> mm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. She's such a space cadet. I love her. Okay. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape passes instructions. Throw it out. Yeah! Okay, hold on. Perfect. Woo! Time to take a nap, y'all. I actually could have fallen asleep in them. If, if you actually give me five more minutes, I'm not even kidding. I started to feel that I could have fallen asleep. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Please. Relax. In her clothes? Oh, right. I forgot you have to wear your clothes. I'm washing me and my clothes, bitch. I'm washing me and my clothes. Y'all remember that video? <laughs> Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. I'm afraid, by the way. Oh no! What is it, Ratio? Why the long? too slow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? Excuse me? You're late. By four minutes and sixteen seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people I'm so do not sick of his make ass. friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's I'm excited. I don't know how far I should go today. I'm very I'm assuming I'm not very far in, right? Is somewhat peacock-esque. Oh. 
It seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things. What? Haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstone. I've it started. Huh? Where are you going? Three percent in. Okay, Back good. Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined <laughs> everything. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more 1. than 5? a Sagonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> You're funny. I'll I know that's right. That. End him. I don't like either of them, but friend has done his homework. It's my job. Oh. How would a gambler wrest Penicone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> don't worry, doctor. I have my ways. The family fears They're having a gay off. I actually can't listen to this conversation they anymore. I'm being serious. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> more to play devil's advocate. Perhaps Panagoni might have always been a ruse under the guise of the harmony. I can't listen. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or Hella? I do not know. I do not know how to build her at all or use her. Pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite. You know what? And good. We acquiesce to elevating the magnitude of the plan. New Star Wars video? What is it? Like a well, regardless, a teaser, be it a the demo, family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Oh, Lunar New Year, cute. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. A Any serve true off, if collaboration you will? demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? He thinks Sagonian like it's then, a bad thing. Do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? I like Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. <laughs> and his parents left. Oh, damn. I did not mean to you... offend. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Abjans. Even under the watchful eye of No, the I can't party, stand it anymore. Like, listening to him talk, it's giving me the giggles. Like, I exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. Me. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her. Huh? Real. Me, me as fuck. Yeah, conversation over. Well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. Good. Just like that's why your parents left. Yo oh wait, they died. Same thing. Whatever. What was that weird noise just now? Aventurine's voice. Over here. It's the vagina door. Please. Open up. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. You're here. Wonderful. What's up? Note? Did you find it in the room? Yes, why do you sound scared? It wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? Oh. It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. Is he the only person cleaning all these rooms? Damn. You just go right through that. They don't got child labor laws tower. in this place? I wish you oh, it's Disney, yeah. Dream. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, ready? We're going to Panacone, y'all. Everybody, hold on tight. I'm scared. We're falling. 
Am I not supposed to be falling from the sky like that? Like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. So, this place is like a big hallucination, kind of? Essentially? That's cool. Shimmering in the depth of her lake green eyes. Oh. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. What was that sound just now? It was a song with a harmonic tune. That didn't answer my question, relax. but thanks. Just did some tuning on you with the this resonance is the new world, of the yeah. harmony. To allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Yippee! I can swim! Well, theoretically you can, but it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the memoria yet. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, That's it crazy. can be difficult at first to manipulate the memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, you can I was backlogged for a long time as well. I'm catching up slowly, to but understand how the dream world works. Oops, <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. This is not Fontaine, no, this is a Honkai Star this also. This is, be a this is, um, get, uh, Hoey versus other game. Don't One of their other him. games. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape. But it's a new region, so it's, everyone. you know, kind of like Fontaine, in the sense that it's new. This just came out on Monday. Hey, March girl, what's up? Oh my god, I can text her. No, I love March. Yes, ma'am. If you buy this stuff. That's right. That actually, I'm not even gonna lie, I had to withhold a yelp. That really did scare. Stop! Who'd I get today? Bronya, okay. Um. <laughs> it did not go the way I thought it was going to go and I was a little bit afraid for my my monetization. Wait, 
Did that billboard just move? Girl, we are. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Why'd he jump? Uh, I know. That one didn't see me. Haha. <laughs> it's like the eye of um what's the guy's Oh hey, this is gonna sound stupid, but the, oh, what what's the billboard the billboard in the Great Gatsby that's supposed to re represent like the eye of God or whatever? Do y'all remember what I'm talking about? That's what this guy is. I forgot what it's called, a doctor something. Trailblazers from the yeah. Astral Expert. Welcome. Dr. Edward. So Dr. Eckelberg, Dr. Edward. I have I, I am inclined to think that's intentional. Right? It's me. The dreamscape says a story. I also go by the name of Dr. Edward. <laughs> and I'm happy to be at your service. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? Since when are you a judge? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. Shibuya, yeah, kind In of. Dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. Oh, so this, these aren't my dreams? If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. Or not my memories, I should say. committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akivili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream You can sell your dreams your to Dr. Edward? You can choose anyone's voice for Akivili. Right. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I will be able to replicate it from your subconscious. The subconscious has vast potential. Now, well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. I definitely don't want to listen to Pom Pom anymore. I'll do Don Hang. I'm rendering it as we speak. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. Thanks, sir. You, as well as the other passengers, what? Take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. I could have made it welt. Man, I hate this game. By the way, hate this game. You Bad game. Uninstalling right after this. Into the Tychian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Bullshit. Bad game. Because Uninstalling. You, Uninstalling. Twenty trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Yes. <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. I could be listening to Welt right now. Into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Eris crew budget. On 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the rest room. I know. Where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Uh, yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. What a snack. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy crumbly pom pies. And because you also took the last 
serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving! Do you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express Data Bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break-in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. Let me reiterate that I won't make any explanatory okay, do not. leading comments on the content of this drink. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Who blew up the train? For the content of this dream how was your experience? I'm confused, annoyed, and hungry, so... <laughs> this string bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested... You picked Pom Pom? Hmm. So Pom Pom was yelling at Pom Pom? Interesting. This string bubble is indeed green. Are you going to buy it? Why'd it skip? Do I buy it? That's messed up. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Oh, ah, as this is your first time using the dream bubble. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. She went that way. Get her! Oh! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? They're fighting! Watch your step now. Don't shut the Don't tell me what to do. Mr. Harris, <laughs> okay, he won. He actually the, the the billboard just beat me up. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Whoa. Oh cutie! Oh she's a girl that fell. Foxy, hello. S sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Switch is so cute. It's my duty. Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Damn it. Ha, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. Oh, hey, fuck ass Bob. Don't talk to me, Tybo. You're not nabbing anything. Failed. I might stream Sunday. I have a lot of content to catch up on, so I might have to. Who's this? Uh, sir, sir. He's. It's um. What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? <sighs> What's the guy? Uh, Who? Who's Risley? This? It's Risley, but red. Don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I meant like aesthetic see. wise. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stone. He's warm Ridsley. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. It's not her fault she looks like a playable That's character and nonsense. you don't. So don't be Take rude to her. Look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? Well, first of all, She's don't assume. Guest. Well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. That's... I yes, kind of like him. I like his mullet! Wait, he's kind of dirty looking. The trouble you went through back <laughs> Gallagher? Ooh! I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound oh. family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. 
Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology the police. to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. Yeah, where's the real stowaway? I'm actually so hungry, I'm gonna die. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. Do you guys see this Calibra? We got a tip that some criminals are planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? Don't say it like that. Great. No, I'm kidding. Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Sorry, I got distracted by the billboard. The lights going. Dee, dee, dee. Like I, I, that really just drew me in for a second. Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed you're a nameless, Sorry. right? Hi, Rito. How are you? Is this your first time here on Penacone? Yes, ma'am. How'd you know? Yeah, how did- wait, what? You have the Astral Express badge on you. Oh, oops. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? I I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris oh. family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Glad to hear that. After She's all, very cute. You just did me a huge favor. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. Ooh. The Dreamscape sales stores here is Oh, that's super a great famous. question, Van. I have no idea. There are also stores that sell luxury Lots goods, of stuff to do. Apparel, I'm very behind in every aspect of this game, cars. so... As long as you Darcy, you're max trouble level, coins, right? Already? Or no? You fancy. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into no. reality I was about to say, I imagine so service. by now. Unfortunately... The transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. I feel like they're going to add levels, extra levels to this time. one. Just outside the mall is the plaza. I want to me. pee. I'll buy you a nice meal. <gasps> Thanks, girl. Give me some snacks, bro. Come on. Wait, I literally just said I was hungry. This game is... <gasps> what do I buy? Can I buy everything? Oh, no, I can only buy what she gave me money for. Oh, but she gave me 20,000, so I can buy everything. I know that's right. I'm crazy, y'all, buying everything. Thanks, queen. Um, this is... Girl, I said I was hungry. Are you done ordering? You... You have great taste. <laughs> I... It's kind of mean. Get the bill. I should have, maybe. Mm. You know, I don't know her salary. Maybe I should have done that. That's kind of mean. <gasps> oh my Please god! Come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Well, apparently, I was just being big and greedy. That's my bad. I, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I feel like I robbed Look, her. That's <laughs> the statue of Clock, Penacone's famous cartoon character. I know that's right. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penacone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. I love Clocky. I know, right? Isn't he adorable? By the way, 
Do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. I've heard too much he of him. He's stressing me out. He's not even here. History of Penicone. Is he dead? The founder of the dreamscape. But he's the like still. <gasps> oh my god, is he like cryogenically frozen? Like in the dreamscape, like Walt Disney? <laughs> Imagine. He got his head there in a freezer. <laughs> Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claimed that he was exiled to Peniconia as a prisoner. They should have done that. Some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be frozen the inside next Clocky. Speaker. He is Clocky. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Peniconia in droves. They held feast after feast. Eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Peniconi knows this name. The That's the case then, Jordy? That's the crazy that she only got like $200 in savings. Hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the Hot kind of thing a trailblazer would hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless... Wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? They talk about charging My after pleasure. taking the pictures. That's like the, Here, the characters in Times phone. Square. They'll do that. I don't know if y'all know those people that dress up in costumes in Times Square. They're like shake. They're like, oh, take a picture, take a picture. And then they're like, pay me now. And they'll like literally hunt you down on the street. It's so funny. You obviously don't have to pay them, but like you will be harassed. What's it's like that? a tourist scam because they think like they like, like shake people down like, on the side of the road. Help. Help <laughs> York is so me. funny. Help what? Me. Is there somebody stuck in there? Well, I'm still taking the picture. You want a photo with him? Sure. Please give me your phone. I'll take it for you. It's done. It came out great. You're very photogenic. Thank you. Another day. I'm like. Oh, how, can we get them? Is it a bird? Oh, it's British. Never mind. Man. That's what them. Can y'all do that? Can y'all roll your R's? Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? I just pulled a bird out of his eye. What do you mean? Did you not see that? A bird with sharp edges and points <laughs> um i don't think i saw oh so i've it. gone crazy okay no. right <laughs> if you're okay let's move on to the next stop which is a just a stone's throw away from here am Please i okay me. can you see that building in the distance that's the famous grand theater another great landmark of Penacony. that's a pretty unique shape doesn't he in the real world it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Peniconi Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Peniconi with everlasting peace. Oh, that's and here we are. Ominous. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, no way. There's so there's soda fountain over there. I need to go see that. What is this? Good luck avoiding me now. <laughs> huh.
That's so cute! I feel bad for waking him up though. It seems like he wanted to be broken. Someone screenshot it! Someone screenshot that! <laughs> this is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda, soda culture. bottle houses okay, the Midwest. of the Soulglad Enterprise. Soulglad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Apparently. I mean, an interstellar traveling merchant saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Apparently there's a, um... then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soulglad. He also uh, what do you call it? school of thought known as Syrupism. In which... Syrupism. He promoted the consumption of Soulglad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. What the hell? Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means... The only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soulblad is in Penacony's dreamscape. Oh, wow. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. <laughs> syrupism. See these Who's behind me? Playing themselves with no human performers? In Penacony, many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories and, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troupe. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. So, we're gonna have to fight inanimate hey, objects? Over there. Yeah. Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able. To... Oops, sorry. Hey, Aspen, how are you? Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some ID and tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your Dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your Dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. Dub. Wow, you won something on your first attempt. Impressive. Did you have fun? No, because I lost actually, and I remembered that. I lost all my things and I didn't get the stupid weapon. Pinaconi's golden hours. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Debatable. I know, right? It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to everyone. Just like the family. Oh, I can? Okay. That's, that's sweet. You know what? Watch it's this, y'all. I'm gonna become emotion. a real girl. Watch this. Ready? Even the humblest people can find solace here. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It Why was you guys willing terrified? to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. So she doesn't belong here I've then. I'm very fond of this place, and that makes me want to. <laughs> of me. Oh. Share it with others. What did I do? Yes, yeah, see, I was about to say. I thought she wasn't a stowaway. I defended. I beat people up for I, this girl. I am a lawful resident. At least now I am. Uh, all right, girl. Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Girl, you better not kiss me. I'll start Did screaming. Did you travel here alone? Uh. <laughs> so what do you want to do? <laughs> That's real, real. Also, just spit because I laughed. Sorry. I'm not sure whether you realize it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because. I'm getting in a VIP well, deluxe guide. Someone's been following you. What? Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. What? Gallander. I 
wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. It's Don Hang. Okay. <laughs> He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. It better not be the freak. That way of walking What's his name? Aventurine? I'll be pissed. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has... No! 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 <laughs> no! No, please! It can't be! No! 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 I can recognize that stupid slutty crop top anywhere! <laughs> Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes. <laughs> no! No! Yeah, I know someone like that. Rings a fucking bell. Oh! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my. I'm taking a break from dumpster diving, you sick freak. <sighs> yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. You're surprised talking to slow see at me. me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. Oh, sorry, guys. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I Bro, did for he's you all actually... in Bellabog. My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo. And I'm an old pal of well, he says hers. my name, like his name, sends me into a rage. Oh, seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My name is... My purpose. Sampo. <laughs> You're funny. What else uh, can, can I do in Penacony? Streams working now? Well, I just hang around, daydream, is, and do the things that voice? anyone on vacation would do. So, hi Chase, how are you? Anyways, Speaking I'm going back to, which, I'm back to crawling old my pals, eyelashes. Since fate brings us I'm here, I don't I'm obliged want to, this, to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Stalker. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Oh, really, was it? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste went. of the adult world. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the Stimulate. pinball machine? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. I'm terrified of this man and I want to call the Come police Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Excuse me? Sir? The pinball machine? Don't mind if I do. What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Whatever. Why was this TV 
dumped on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, oh. Miss Firefly. This is an Hopefully arcade. This vibe machine has a sense uh, of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. Impact, so that's why you'll notice it's nothing similar, like, like the techie junk you see around um, Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? I'm calling the cops. I don't like that sentence. You do it yourself, free. I want to let you enjoy this first-hand experience. I'm <laughs> such a hater. If he has no haters, I'm fine. Of course, it's just a suggestion. If you're in a Ford, I'm so sorry, I'll he's do yawning. It Exclamation points. Extremely cool grunt. Man, it was you really cool. So cool. You got swag now, pal. So how did she turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by I one of Stone's TV. devices. Thank you will you embark try. on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville oh, with yeah. your miniature body. Oh my goodness. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. Make a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about why you'd ever change back if you can keep being this cool? <laughs> Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, asshole. Ah, I finally caught you. You little Hanu! <laughs> Can I teleport with the TVs again? Oh, you're so oh my bad. Oh wow! I'm actually wealthy. You see this? No crap! You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. I have to go back to normal size now. You're back. <sighs> Are you all right? Barely. Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. Now that we've got everything we need, we oh, just need to go into a dream. <gasps> Just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Real fun. Ooh. Welcome to Dreamscape Sales Store. Dr. M at your service. <gasps> the trailblazer of the Astral Express. Here we are again. Uh -huh. You've got two friends with you. Bless you, my fun people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. Oh, don't freak. Oh, my guest. <laughs> Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A oh, superb my. idea, sir. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect. Oh, is this the trash can? Are we finally going to um, be able to get to see the trash what's can? What's going on? This is a service we offer to our 
long time customer. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With the relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream worlds that can be experienced repeatedly. I mean, I would love to know my dreams well, from the night before. Whether a dream bubble is fun or not depends on what kind of dreams you've had. We all had dreams that we wished we could have continued after waking up. Right? Miss Firefly, I admire oh, your my eagerness. Hair is crazy today. But please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. There goes all my stuff that I just got. Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval is complete. It's messed up. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. The dream bubble. Dream bubble. Yippee. It's ready. Please close your eyes close your and eyes. rest your forehead against the And what did she say? And breathe. Jump on <laughs> in, friend. Oh, I wish so you enjoyment. a time. Uh, oh, wow. This was a touch stuff. Oh, wow. Ugh. This. Oh, is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it? Where's empty? where's where's healer mommy? This is the surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream, anything is possible. Possible. Is it supposed to be going to each headphone ear, or am I like insane? Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. <laughs> Is this another note? It felt like it was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Become the guard. Become the garbage gang. Through the trash bags have long been. Oh, though the trash bags have long been broken. That's. Oh, really? Well, you know what they say. Great minds dream alike. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, Dream I'd that. say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you see. What? What? Please. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> what? What is happening? Excuse me. Hello, at the clinic, I guess. Um, he is our king as well as the manager in all the ways of the world. Pet Perched on his throne, up of trash cans that are humble and surpasses those that are violent. He is the cornerstone of Bellabog, the lid that secures us, the barrel that reinforces us. However, since the thing from beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze, Bellabog's eyes have been blinded. He stopped listening to our calls, leaving him impoverished to be bullied and his loyal servants to be degraded. The humiliation was too much for us. We intended to help garbage king mend his ways under the banner of the sky fire, but we were no match for the sinister king. He spread vicious rumors among the trash cans to divide us against each other. As a result, we can no longer communicate. Oh. Damn, bitch! Slow down! <laughs> I implore you to restore peace to the trash bags. The trash cans here may be united once more. Then we'll be able to launch a counterattack against that under undeserving king 
You're speaking in riddles, girl. I think she's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these um trash cans and uh, leave their so battle I'm their against ruler, the ruler, you would say. Or something like that. Well, that seals the deal. You have one mission, help the trash cans with their troubles and collect three proofs of trust. Once you've accomplished that, you'll be our new king and lead our fight against the evil king. Off you go, you dream diver, and your mission is calling you. Thanks, king. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. Excellent, so we hope that you're set up here. I've waited for so long for this day here. I'll escort you to your throne, the pillars of creation, where you'll witness the future of my people. I wish you success. Thanks, girl. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh-oh. I guess these are all the impoverished trash Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Such a tragic scene. It's actually kind of disturbing. Like I didn't think I would be didn't disturbed they say by the garbage king would wait trash for Trash cans, here. but like I am. Have I been set up? But I get jumped by 15 trash cans. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How dare What a bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. No firefly, explain yourself immediately before you get knocked out. I clear you, fool, but it's a What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. How dare she? I'm so pissed. I was, I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. <sighs> Hint at? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world pretty distract scenery. you from your goal. As soon as don't you Oopsie. think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Pemiconi? A Did small it? stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. I mean, I guess. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna be very disappointed yeah, if you get crazy. bamboozled by the lot. likes of them. Is that girl still here? She's she not. claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit. Suspicious? I find you suspicious considering you stalked me, Free. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. Don't don't call me your pal. Hey girl, you alright? <laughs> oh, damn. We're sad now. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I don't really think she's suspicious necessarily. <laughs> you can Thank buy cars. You. That's there fun. Are things I'm hiding from you. I mean, that's fine. I'm not a local. 
And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. Ooh. I'll hear your motives. But that doesn't still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. I do really love that kind of life. Why can't she come with us? <sighs> Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It it's my very own secret base. She's gonna die. And I'll do Call my best it. to tell you everything I know when if we If somebody dies, it's gonna be her. Thanks. What? Did I make myself clear? Someone is dying! Please help! Wait! Can you see me? Yes! Uh, is there a problem? Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! And ain't he the doorbell? Oops! Uh, Door boy? I haven't introduced boy? myself! What's the my name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Patagonia. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight, and Misha. Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Uh, Clocky? Bro. Do you mean. You saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist. Well, he exists in my right life. in front of me, girl. So what now? Um, where is he? I I can't see him. Hey, right, a little bit to your left. Tick tock. I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child, like this kid here, clad in gray. Me. He said you weren't innocent. I'm gonna go with the first option. I don't want to hurt um, her feelings. <laughs> but I think you look older than me in terms of appearance. She's right. Tick tock! Tick tock! My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. Okay. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. Uh, is it really that bad? I mean, he's literally screaming. Well, I don't. You can help this some. Um... Clocky that only you can see? I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. It's gonna have to be back TikTok, front, bro. TikTok. Put on the back burner. Me, gray, friend. gray friend, okay. Misha's I like it. He's over there. Let me bring you to him. The name of Misha rings a bell to me. And anyway. okay. Better check a out bell thing. Come on, chop chop! Oh my god, we get to follow the. Oh, <laughs> there, slow down! There's a crowd over there. Looks like something really Everyone, did happen. Please, calm down. Tick tock. <sighs> he's there. He's there. See, Clocky does not tell lies. Bro, he looks proud as. I know that's right. Anyway, sorry. Let's go save this kid's life. My bad. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Everyone, please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to. Not gangster boss. Anybody but gangster boss. Get him, boss. Get him, boss. I'm from New York, by the way. Get him, boss. What do you mean by all? Not see them. See, I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. I, I believe you. Also, she's is she lying to me? She sees TikTok. him. TikTok, I'm begging you, my great friend, begging you, please help Misha. I'm afraid a baseball bat isn't an efficient weapon. Yes, it is. No, no. But what I mean is, 
We can't solve this problem with violence. Tick tock, tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. The Stone. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. He instructed his oh, wait, stone to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away Sorry, everyone's I, I positive had to turn my brain on for a second. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. No longer a family. As the of Dreamville. I can't just sit back and do nothing. So funny, I'm using bro. the power of oh, clockwork, man. I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the positive dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. <laughs> My great friend, I require your assistance. The voice is too I good. I'm the dead. After all, oh, you're the special one who can see me. I wish I could do the kill. Also, I can't do you're it. You're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you Come take on. action now, we can catch him off guard. You know what? Hell yeah. Oh, it'll be fine. I'm just demonstrating how it works. Please, close your eyes. <laughs> Tick tock. Now. Our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy surging through what? your body? Surging through your body? What you <laughs> is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all. Tick tock. Mind your own business, lass. Lass? I have to let... Well, what got into me just now? That's wonderful! You did it! <laughs> it really sounds like Mickey! I'm dead. I'm dead. It must have been. Otherwise, why would he suddenly be all calm and composed? You made him cry? Oh, I wanted to just be calm. Oh, was I fight. about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? Maybe. What's wrong with the boss? Wrong with the boss? Uh, hey, What's wrong hey, with the boss? May you I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? I, I wasn't my normal self. Hey. I'm not gonna you. Ooh, thanks for doing that. If we'd laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. You made him happy? Oh. I'm so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, yeah, I don't know. I get so worked up all of a sudden. It's that was interesting. It's, it's, it's baffling. Oh, my great friend! You have to tell him that Stone is behind this. Stone? Uh, I, I'm not sure I get what you mean. Uh, anyway, uh, I owe everyone a smooth transition apology. of conversation. He said, Again, anyway. Hey, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? Yes, sir. Um, sure. Sure. Oh, okay. sure. Uh, yeah, you sure, hear sure. them. I'm calling the police. Ready? Go. So, sure. Yeah, no, no, no problem. Uh, uh, we, we, we're we're really sorry. Sorry. The trouble we caused. The trouble we caused. Was. The trouble we well, caused. They look really sincere. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Um, okay. Sure thing, eh? You're the boss. Hey, gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, boss. boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down Look here? Look at this trio. This is my three brain Rachel, cells right here. One, two, and three. Are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about her before. Wait, these are my three personalities. 
I'm being so serious right now. It's high lady with big boobs, a cartoon character, and a little gay boy. Oh, That's me. It's her. Anyway, thanks a lot. Anyways. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. I'm pulling for her no matter what. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be oh, passing morning through. Good morning. I stopped for questioning, and there were some How are you doing today? misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady your friend too? Yeah. Don't, well, don't we've only met each other once before, but she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. And I love her because she got rid it's of my that nasty event of entering for me, so. The beautiful lady. By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I injected him with uh, I was wondering horse about that too. What happened back there exactly? What are you talking about? It wasn't talk therapy. It was clock work. I don't Queen think it's that simple. Is so cute. So they can see the clock. Could it have something to do with that the just clocky that here? only you can see? Clocky. Oh, never mind. Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality. I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here. Only honest people with childlike innocence no, it's Rosaria's can see him. VA. <sighs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. <laughs> but it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. It's randomized? Interesting. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Hmm. Shortly after we parted ways, I wandered into a ball without realizing oh. it. Lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. <laughs> it was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. I won. I won. When I win, shortly after we parted ways, I wandered into a ball without realizing a lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. It was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Is it Black Swan? Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Clocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. Don't be jealous, girl. No, we're not on a date. <laughs> oh my god, she's jealous. She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. It sounds like he's I really gay. appreciate <laughs> your help. The nameless are indeed Thanks a bunch of talented people. Oof. May our paths cross again. This is the place. Oh, my headphones are glitching, but like her voice in my ears is weird. No, uh, it isn't. This is. We live in the sewers. Oh. Yes. Was it fun though? It's right inside. 
It doesn't matter. Anything can happen in a dream. And there are lots of people falling from the sky every day. That is true. The pedestrians I aren't going to be faced the, by uh, anything. Ground. Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Huh? We're going in the sewers, y'all. Hey, let me ask you something. Okay. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. Sampo? To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Why is she two feet tall? That's like... Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. I know that's right. You're really living I know up that's to right. the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover, not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. She calls him a liar, a the cheat, gloomy a freak, shade and a weirdo. I agree with her. Like I don't care what she just said. Go with my I agree. Vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. Well, also, she's my said it based here. on his race. I my said it based on his face because he's a freak and I don't like him. So. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. Not my fault. We are his both, for being a but freak. But we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. Really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since Ooh. the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Chicken wing? How did what? you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked? Apologize to him on your knees? And promise that the IPC would never Sunday. harm Penacone? Friends. Oh, please. Is she talking? You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only Sunday players that will wing. never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express Arthur. are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long. Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. <sighs> she told him to befriend, befriend a rock because it's the only person that won't be able to shut him down. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. She kind of ate him up, and I kind of love her for that, I'm not going to lie. Look! This place is breathtaking, isn't it? Yeah, Tone's like one of my best friends. Guests like, aren't I allowed John. here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. I don't have any pulls. Or, no, I, I pulled her back swan This some place season. isn't dangerous, just, um, <gasps> so much think of heart. this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. So there's not exactly co-op, it's more so like you can use other people's characters to help you do your quests and stuff. 
go for the light cone. No, I have to get, um... Who's coming out next? It seems like every character is like a different size. My secret stronghold like they is all in look this different. area. It radiates dazzling oh, light perpetually. Where I need to go. That's just like this glamorous dream. Woo! I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. Like countless fireflies chasing the fire. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. The song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking. By Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival. I also love how close. Robin's such a big fan. Or, I, sorry, March this is such a big fan of Robin. I thought that was really cute. place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's so <gasps> far away from the hustle Pretty. and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery. The people and the dreams without being disturbed by anyone. How beautiful. <laughs> Time. It's so is pretty. This golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the garden of recollection. The wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador. The Astral Express nameless. And me. Everyone falls asleep here equally, regardless of our different agendas. I need to know what's going on with her. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. I don't doubt that she feels bad about that, but like, why would I care? You know what I mean? Like, I just, I just got here too. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like a stowaway too. I, I, I have no loyalty to this place. So I do wonder why she's so shameful about it. Cause like, why would I care? You know what I mean? <laughs> like genuinely, why would Sal care? I knew I couldn't hide it from you. Ooh, the music. Yeah, the music of this game My is so good. Was destroyed a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but. I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. Family takes them in, but they don't. They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penaconi, but. Some have dreams that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. Am I going to cry? I can't cry again, bro. Hoya versus making me cry all week. I say, what's your wish? Like, come on, girl. Let's give it a shot together or something. Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? Em Entropy loss syndrome? I've not heard of that term. I mean, I, I could put two two together, but I didn't know there was a syndrome you could have. No, I didn't like your name. I thought it was pretty, but it was beautiful. All right, I, like in beautiful, but it, I thought the story was just meh. It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away the process is barely noticeable to others. Does that happen if they stay in the dreamscape too long? I'm, I'm just a little confused. Run, jump, and talk as usual. 
everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become uh -oh. blurry. Uh -oh. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. Oh, wow. So how can I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Is she like sick? Just like this moment. Oh, wait, I'm really sad for her, but I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. I, I mean, I trust her, so that's fine. I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> but there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least, I really hope things don't turn out that way. I hope so too. Thanks. Oh, she's so cute. I want to trust her. She seems genuine. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past mm -hmm. will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water. And the future that you don't want to face will never come. Well, she Why said some people choose to sleep. Oh, is that what she said? I think. Sophie, hello. Um, you know, I, I must have missed. I was saying, I must have missed because because then after that, she started talking about like the, the doctor and the cryo room and all that stuff. And I was like. Oh, I was like, oh, she must be sick, but I guess she just said it and I didn't hear it. That's my bad. That's my bad. It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm thinking a minute. Thank you guys for following. Things are getting all bleak and serious. I see a bird. There's a bird uh, behind her. Let me see. Well, let me I miss that, guys. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? That's so sad. Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? <gasps> Do you get to take a selfie? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Oh, yes. Let's commemorate. Everyone this pose. Moment. Everyone pose. Say cheese, everybody. Come on, say cheese. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. How cute. Here, you hold the camera. So refresh the mind to change the primal life. Wait, let me get ready. I'm good. Let's do this. One, two. I'm in pose. Say cheese. Cheese, I told you to say cheese. I missed it. <gasps> the P sign. Cute. It's so cute. I love. A 
Adorable. Your new wallpaper. Yeah, honestly. Sleepover. Sleepover with the girls. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on. Let's say goodbye, Golden Hour. Penicone, you were amazing. Part whatever out of whatever.